Good morning students. Uh, today I am going to explain you the counter type ADC. In this ADC, uh, we are using DAC also. So let me explain the different blocks of this ADC. So this ADC consists of an AND gate, binary counter, DAC, digital to analog converter and voltage comparator. So here the analog input voltage, our in, uh, unknown input voltage we are going to apply here. We are going to apply to the non-inverting terminal of the voltage comparator and its equivalent digital output we are going to get here. This is what the binary output, binary counter output. So binary counter output is our digital output. So here we are going to apply a reset pulse to this binary counter. As soon as the reset pulse is applied and it is released, this binary counter is going to be uh, reset to 000. zero, zero. All the all the binary outputs will be zero 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 like this. So here the uh, when the clock pulse uh, when the reset pulse is released, then the clocks are going to be counted by this binary counter. So this clock has to pass through this AND gate. So when this AND gate is going to be enabled, when the two inputs of the AND gates are going to be high, then only this analog uh, this AND gate is going to be enabled and the clocks are passed to this binary counter and binary counter going to start the counting. So here a uh, binary counter is going to start the counting and it is going to the rep give the representation here the digital output and this digital output of the binary counter is given to the DAC which is going to convert the digital into analog so this VD is nothing but the whatever the clock pulses are counted here in the binary counter its analog equivalent is VD and this VD is going to compare here with VA. VA is our analog input voltage and VD is what the output of the binary counter in the digital uh, in the analog form and this VA is compared with the VD. So when this as long as the VA is greater than VD our analog input voltage as long as it is uh, greater than VD. VD means what VA is applying to the non-inverting terminal. So when VA is greater than VD means the output is high. So when this output is high, here it is given to the AND gate. So the AND gate is going to be opened or enabled. Then the clocks are going to be fed to the binary counter. And the clocks are goes on feeding to the uh, binary counter and binary counter is going to count the pulses. So how, how long it, this process is going to uh, uh, occur means as long as the VA is greater than VD. So and when the VA is equal to VD or less than VD, when the VA is uh, equal to VD or less than VD, what happens the output of this comparator is going to be low that is zero and when this zero is given to the AND gate, the AND gate is disabled and the clocks are going to be stopped. So whatever the clocks are fed to the binary counter earlier, that count is going to be counted here and this is nothing but the digital representation of our analog input signal. So this is what the operation of the counter type ADC and the disadvantage of this ADC is what it is very low speed ADC and it takes 2 power n minus 1 clock pulses for the conversion of analog signal into digital ones. This is a very high time so it is very slow a low speed ADC. So here I have represented here when the reset pulse is applied and it is ended here this res reset pulse. When the re reset pulse is end the clocks are going to be counted by the binary counter. Just now we have seen in the circuit diagram. So these clock pulses are going to be counted by the binary counter. So whatever the counts of uh, whatever the clocks are counted that is nothing but the digital representation of our analog input signal. So here this is what the output of the uh, DAC. Here in this diagram we are using DAC. This is the output of the DAC that is VD. When the VD is equal to VA the counting stops. So this is what the operation of the counter type ADC. Thank you.